and Woo! welcome to another episode of Our, Our Family Plays Games. Games. <laughs> yeah, boom, go that dynamite. Yes, yes, yes. dynamite everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, just blow everywhere. Just up. blow up everything, <laughs> every day, every day. Yes. Yeah. So welcome back to another week. Yes, another week. Yes. Yes. Now this week mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about something that's a little personal to us and others. Yes, because we're seeing a lot of it on the socials. And also, you know, we talk to people and stuff yeah. like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we thought we would address it. Yes. And so we're going to talk about this week, stop the FOMO. Stop the FOMO. Stop, stop it. Because we see it all the time. Yeah, stop the FOMO. With, with conventions, <laughs> yes. with Kickstarter, yeah. everything. <laughs> so we're going to talk about stop the FOMO. Stop the FOMO. But before we get into all that, yes. as you know, every week, Mick yes. has to give us some news. And I don't mind the news. I actually like the news because it's updating me. Yes. It's just what comes before the news. And here we go. Uh, Got to do a little stretching, a little stretching. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Those wonderful sound effects. Yes. It will never <laughs> stop, family. Never. All right, Vic, what's happening? All right, this is what we got going on. Got some stuff. Okay. Got some stuff. All right. Now, I just want to tell you straight off the bat mm. that we will be featured, yes. OFPG, baby, and other board game industry folk in a new documentary called The Hobby. Yes. That's And it's premiering at South by Southwest, you know, the big pop culture in gathering Austin, in Austin, Texas. And it's going to be on March 8th. That's yes. when they started. Yeah. Now, it's going to be a few more show, uh, uh, you know, kind of showings of the documentary. So check the website for South by Southwest so you can see when that's going to happen if you're in the area. Yes. If you're in the area. Now, what they say that the hobby is, it explores the value of leisure time and uncovers the deep meaning uh, found in a meaningless pursuit. I don't know how I like that description. I don't but know, they, yes. but people do call this, you know, meaningless. Yeah, I guess because it's like, games, oh, it's games, you know? Because you know, they think it's coming from that Monopoly, yeah. you know, uh, Connect Four and stuff like yeah. that. But it's deeper meaning to what I we totally do. I totally agree. Yes. I totally agree. Yeah, we were yes. excited when the film crew came to Omaha. Yes. They yes. came to they Nebraska. Came. Yes, Simon. Simon and yes. his group yes. uh, came to Nebraska and yes. was here with us for a couple of days. Yes. And filmed us on doing a lot of things. So um, yeah, like, oh, I don't know how much of that made it to the movie and how know. much made it don't to know. the uh, editing don't floor. Know. Yeah. But from what we were told, we're in it. We're in it. <laughs> so so we'll we can't see. we can't wait to see it. We'll see. Yeah, and if it makes it to streaming services or anything like that, we will let you guys know. We'll let know. you know, <laughs> yes, we'll let you know. Now here's something that's really wild. Now we love Ticket to Ride. Yes. We do. Now they're gonna do some weird stuff, kind of strange, weird, crazy stuff this year. Okay. Yes. Now they're working with Diffuse, which is a merchandise company, mm -hmm. and they plan to release Ticket to Ride appeal, uh, you know, uh, apparel, you know, sh you know, oh. t-shirts, socks, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, for Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride apparel. You know, just like what Catan does. Yeah, Catan okay. does the same All thing. Right. But this is the big thing. Here we go. In April of 2024, Ulysses Press, that does books and mm -hmm, stuff, mm -hmm. will release. Ticket to Ride, the official cookbook. Here we go again. Catan had one. Now oh, this. Okay. Now Ticket to Ride. A cook. Next, cook. next is gonna be uh, you know, what is that? Carcassonne. <laughs> Carcassonne gonna have a cookbook of French stuff. It's gonna be Carcassonne the cookbook. But now, but now we have Ticket to Ride, the official cookbook featuring dining car menus inspired by your favorite destinations oh. throughout the United States and Canada. Okay, that's an yes. interesting twist. Yes, it is. Dining car menus. Dining car mm. menus. Yes, that is yeah. interesting. Now, you know, dining cars, they have some good food. Yes, they do. And yeah. especially, you know, something like with black history, yeah. you know, the, the porters. Yeah. That, you know, the African-American porters mm -hmm. long ago, mm -hmm. they were on those dining cars and, and they made great food. Mm -hmm. You know, they got great food. So, you know, hopefully they'll have some history in there. Yeah, well, you, you know, know we did a train up to a winery when we lived yes. in Washington. Yes, we did. Yes, and we it was did. one of those dinner trains where you got a chance to eat. And yes. The food was just exquisite. It was, just, it was, it was great. It, it was, was great. great. I had this so, pork shank yes. and these uh, mashed potato. Oh my God, it was great. It's but anyway, great. I can't so wait to see I, that. I can't wait to see what's I, going on. I'm kind of excited that. about that yes. one. Yes, I'm excited Catan about that one. scared me a little bit. It scared me. But this one I'm excited about. Yeah, because it's just dining car experience. Dining car, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, there is going to be a new addition to one of our favorite games, 
and that's Survive. Oh, I love Survive. Yes, and it's going to be titled Survive the Island. Okay. Now, it's coming through Zygomatic in October 2024 at Spill Essence 2024, uh -huh. and it's going to be a player count two to five instead of two to four. Oh. Yes, they're going to raise it up one. Mm. Now, the game will be launched again through uh, Zygromatic, and uh, they're going to feature a new character that's going to try to come and kill us all, trying to get off that island. Mm. It's going to be a kaiju. Or, oh, okay. if you know what a kaiju is, it's Godzilla! <laughs> well, you already have a sea monster. They, they so you have a sea God, monster and, and Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh, my goodness. Yes. They're going to try to kill us with Godzilla now. So, so, that's, so we, first of all, we'll survive Escape from yes. Atlantis. Now we got Survive the Island? You survive the island. And okay. I think that, that kaiju, or Godzilla, is going to probably be on the island running oh. after us. So we're going to have to run we away. Really <laughs> We got to run away from that, yeah, try to know. get in a boat and get killed by sea dragons <laughs> and sharks and everything else. So it's going to be crazy. So I'm excited to see that. Yes, I'm excited to see that. Last thing I got. Okay. Now, we have talked a whole bunch about Surfosaurus Max. Yes. You know, it's a fun. card game. Fun poker fun style game. card game that's a different take on poker. Yes. All the way. And we've talked about it several times since its debut yeah. in Spill 2023 by a publisher. Now, I love this publisher, <laughs> Lucy Goosey Games. <laughs> love that. Now, what Lucy Goosey Games going to do, they're giving the rights to publisher, U.S. publisher, Happy Camper. Yes. Now, we know about Happy, Camper, Happy Camper that games. did uh, the, the Japanese game Nana and turned it into trio. trio, which we love. <laughs> so now they're going to take that. They're going to take Surfersaurus mm -hmm. Max. And, they're going, and, and then in uh, Q, uh, Q4 2024, they're going to name it uh, Combo. Okay, combo. 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 Now, yeah. Surfosaurus Max yes. was an interesting name. It was straight up crazy. And as we said before, you know, it's like a tacked on theme because yes. you've got surfing dinosaurs and all that. And the dinosaurs were like kind of... They were cartoony Like dinosaurs. 60, 70 <laughs> craziness. Yeah. But I thought it was appealing and kind of cute. Yes, it, it was. It was unique. The mechanics were great. Yeah, oh, oh the, the mechanics were nothing great. Nothing to do with the mechanics. Yes, I'm mechanics thinking about great. the theme yes. and the artwork. It was but now pop we art. Have pop art. Combo. Combo. So what kind of theme are they giving combo? They said that now you're trying to take part in trying to get valuable fruit combos instead of poker hands. Okay. Well, I mean, as we said, the theme was tacked on. You could have yeah. any theme on it. You're trying the, to get coconuts and stuff. The mechanics yeah. are solid. Yes. They said the mechanics yes. are not oh, going to change. Are solid. So we're good. It, yeah. Now, but okay. it's not going to be no dinosaurs and pop mm. art uh, nowhere. Nowhere. I guess combo. I mean, it's combo. Just a, this just doesn't have any flair to it. It don't have no know? flair. This is combo. Surfosaurus Max. Surfosaurus you know, like, Max has flair. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, now, we, you know what? Well, we're going to give them a chance because Trio trio was great. Yes, Trio you know, was great. Because I played Nana and Trio. Yes. So and so I, we I played like Surfosaurus yeah. Max. Yes. So we've got to try combo. Yes, we got it from Lucy Goosey Games. <laughs> now we're going to see what Happy Camper is going to do. Yes. We're going to see. So that's all I have. All right. Yes. So next up, we're going to go into the heart of the episode. Here we go. All right. We have made it to the heart of the episode. Yes, we have. And as we said earlier, stop the FOMO. I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> stop Spe the FOMO. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Especially for me, family, with he Kickstarters and games, mm -hmm. I got to stop it. Because I got an issue. Mm -hmm. I got problems. Yes. Because I'll see a game that was on Kickstarter. I missed it. I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> and I try to hold it, family. <laughs> I try to hold it. But I'm doing better. I think I am. Cause are, are you really? Yeah, because I think okay. if, if I'm going to get that game, I'm going to get it. It's going to circle around to me one way or another. Now, let me, let me be clear. He's doing better because somebody has to be the voice of reason in the household. We got we to come that way. We got to go that way. I, I'm just saying. We gotta go that I'm way. Just saying that Here we if, go, family. If you are experiencing FOMO, yes. you're gonna need a voice of reason yes. to kind of help you out. Yes. Because when I tell I tell Mick, he's like, oh, I didn't get that Kickstarter. I didn't I don't have that game. I say, sweetheart, we have so many games. Yes, we, we have but more we games. Have that game. We don't have that game. That's the FOMO. That. We don't have that. But we have so many games, and I have to keep reminding him, you know, we get a lot of games, yes. we, we buy Boy, more games than we should buy. 
uh, especially with the ones that we get. And I told them, don't worry about the FOMO. You know, if you get it, great. If you don't, it's okay. We've got more games that we can play. Our shelf of opportunity is huge. And so my message to everybody out there who's having mixed problem, don't worry about it. You probably have more games in your collection probably do. than probably you can do. play. Yes. You probably have a huge and growing shelf of opportunity. Probably so do. So if you don't get that one particular game, yes. it's okay. It's going to come. And, and, and you Family, know what? It's going to come to you. you know it what? was meant for you. It's, it's going to come. come. Yeah. And maybe you can play somebody else's copy of that game. Yes. You know, maybe Which I you, have on different things. Yeah. So maybe, yes. or maybe you can go to BGA if they have it on BGA. Yes. Or you can go to somebody's game night or game day or someone's convention and play it there. You may not have to own it to yeah. still get enjoyment from it. That's true. That's true. So, no FOMO. Stop uh, it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying, family. I'm trying. Now, so, what's FOMO, though? Tell us what okay. FOMO is. Oh, let's, okay, let's talk about FOMO. Yeah, tell us what's FOMO. What is that? FOMO is the fear of missing out. Yes. Yes. The fear of missing out. Yes. And so, it's a feeling that your life, uh-huh. uh, you're missing fun in your life. You're yes. missing something. Yes. You know, because you didn't do this particular thing or you don't own this particular thing. Yes. Or you didn't go to this particular place. Yes. You're not. Because wherever you are in life is where you're supposed to be. Yes. That's where you are. Yes. And you can't be everywhere. You can't have everything. And you can't do everything. We, we're just, yeah, uh -huh. you, you can't. So, you have I'm trying, family. <laughs> Let I'm go trying. of the FOMO. It's hard, though. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and I'm going to have to throw it also on video games. Because, see, Grant playing a game right now, Hell Divers 2. Yeah, yeah. And he's talking about it, loving it. Him and his friends are going crazy. I don't know, youngins. <laughs> them youngins going crazy. <laughs> but I see other people playing it, and I'm getting that FOMO staller. Oh, for video games too? For video, I was like, should I be oh in gosh. that? Because the, just the storyline <laughs> and how that the game is just blowing up like crazy, and it's getting, you know, it's it has a storyline that's really cool, and I'm getting kind of uh, my eye twitching. I'm like, do I want to join in? Do I? Become a legend. Become a hell diver. But see, I'm holding off, fam. I'm holding. As, as you guys can see, this this episode is really a therapy session. Really? Oh, we got another it's, therapy session on me? It's a therapy another session. Another one? A therapy session. See, she had one on me already <laughs> about my, you know, addiction. what you got, addiction? You have an addiction. Oh, so no, this is a oh, therapy session. Another so one. So I'm hoping if I, I can help him, we can no. help you. <laughs> so but I twitch and know. <laughs> Hell divers too, y'all. I, I really don't have a FOMO bone in my body. You I don't, don't? I, I really don't. There's not Apparently too, so. There are not too many things that I feel like I'm missing out on because I know. Well, what about TV shows? No, because we can really? tape them. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't miss shows. Okay. We got DVR. We, we got do. DVR. Never we can do. tape as many as we want. Yeah. So I don't have a fear of missing out on too many things. Yes. Like some people yeah. do, you know, but, but we see people out on the socials and we've talked with people. Yes. And, and I guess with the conventions that are coming up, you know, we have so many conventions. So we have, many. You know, small Locally, ones. You know, we've got the regional. big ones. You know, we got the uh, international Worldwide. ones. You know. There's so many conventions, and as a person, you can only do so much. You know, if you're still working, you've only got so much vacation time. We all can't be Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide. You cannot be <laughs> you Mr. Know, Worldwide. We only got so much vacation time. You gotta make time. a decision. You know, we're, we're working with limited financial resources, so we can't hit every convention because they can yeah. be costly. They can be. They can be costly. Yeah. So if you're going to one convention. Yes. And can I go to another convention that some of your friends or people you know will be at, but you're committed to this other convention, it's okay. Yeah, because if you're making money or making something or you're doing something yeah. where, hey, I'm going to go here. Yeah. I want to go there, but I want to go here. No regrets. Just no go. No regrets. Just do it. Yes. You wear you where you need to be. You are where you are supposed yeah. and I, to see, be. See, I had to learn that. It, you yes. know, I had to learn we're, we're, that. That's a lesson yes. we're working I, yes. on day to day. I had to learn that, especially for conventions. Because yes. I'm like, oh my God, look at the pictures, look at all the people. But I'm like, I'm going yeah. where I need to be. Yeah, I mean, we, we've we made a conscious choice to try to hit some of the smaller yeah. conventions. You know, we haven't been to any of the big ones except for PAX. Yeah. 
PAX. Yeah. So I guess PAX, PAX Tower Town. West is kind of big, you know, but the big ones like Gamma and Origins, yeah. you know, and... and Dice uh, Tower, Dice, the Dice Towers, Dice Tower West Yeah, and well, East. we went to that one. Yeah, we went, we went one, to but Dice we haven't West, been to Dice but Tower we haven't, East. Yeah, we have, we, the Gammas yeah. and the Origins yeah. and, and all that, we haven't been to those. No. Um, Gen Con, we haven't yeah. been there yet. They're big and a lot of people will be there. And yes. I know there'll be a lot of people there that we know, but we're choosing to go to smaller ones. Yes, we because are. Because you can have a more intimate experience with the people that follow us. With you guys out there, you guys follow us and you guys are able to come to the smaller ones because a lot of them are local for you and yes. just come see us and play games with us. And we enjoy that. We love that. And I mean, some of the, the experiences that we've had that we've at the had smaller just, cons, just seeing our OFG yeah, family. Yes, yeah, it's been family, some good times. It's, it's awesome. been good times. Now, yeah. some of the bigger conventions, and I have to be honest, especially with Gen Con, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm I can, afraid. I can, I can, I can swim in the sharks. I can I jump in there. Gen Con I can is jump in there. so huge. It's huge. It it's is huge. so huge. It's huge. You know, 60, that 70. Essen, that Essen is huge. Yeah, 60, yeah. 70, 80,000 yeah. people. Essen, yeah. I don't even know how I will function in something that big. Now, but not, not right. saying that we won't go at some point in the future. Yeah. But just looking at all the reports and the videos about Gen Con, yeah. I always tell Mick, well, you know, we went someplace else and I was happy because it was smaller, you know, 1,000 yeah. people, 2,000 people. It, it, that was a nice size yeah. for me. Seven, I don't know how I'd make, I don't know how I'd make it in that. Yeah. So I don't have a FOMO for You'll that. Be You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine, Again, I'm not saying that we won't ever yeah, attend we'll it, but yeah. I don't have FOMO for not attending. Yeah. I had to, I had to yeah. go away from the FOMO because I did have mm -hmm. FOMO. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, we need to be there, but... It's like wherever we are, it's where we're supposed it's to, be. to be. Because I mean, we've yeah. met we've met so many great uh, great people yes. and had so much fun yes. at at Grand Con. Grand Con, love that in Michigan. Yes. Our Michigan yes. folk, yes. you know, we have a growing Michigan folk, <laughs> you know, a uh, contingent, yeah. and I like that. At, at BGG Con, the BGG Fall. Con, one of our uh, our favorites, yeah. you know, and. I mean, we've had some good times there, good and time. we see all of our old friends from yes. Houston and stuff. So yeah. it was meant to be. Yeah, you know, you know we went to, to OrcaCon for the first time. OrcaCon, that was fun. That so was a lot fun. of people that we love. Yes, you know, and, and we had a lot of fun there. We yes. got a chance to play games. Yes, and, have a know, great panel up there. A great panel discussion. Yeah. yeah, you know, so we're where we need to be. Where we need to so be. So we don't have to have FOMO for where we're not. And then also, you know, like Capital. Well, now it's Capital City Games in Des Moines, Iowa. I mean, in Des Moines. Hour. Yeah, and, but it used to be uh, cardboard, cardboard caucus. caucus. Yes. Now they brought us early. Yeah, we've been yeah, going there for the like past three, three years. Three years, and and we love going there. Just the experiences and the, stuff we've had, yeah. and the people we've met, yeah. and you know, just you know, those yeah. folk are really good. So yeah, yeah, no, it's been it's been cool. Yeah. So I mean, the places that we're going and the places that we've been, yes, we value those experiences. And gaming, I mean, I have fun if I'm at a small game yeah. day or if I'm at a big game day. Yeah. I'm gonna have fun no matter where I and go. And then growing. Our, you know, growing our, yeah. our, our friends and yeah. RPG family here in Omaha, yeah. here locally. Yeah, we have fun. Yeah, we if have you, fun. You got to grow that, you know, that local connection. Because mm -hmm. if you, you, you kind of foam on because you want to go somewhere <laughs> to play some games, yeah. you better. You're missing out. You're missing out. On you what better, you can do on locally. What you can do at home. Exactly. You know, do that at home. They say, take yeah. care of home first. You take know? care of home first. You know, and and I'm, I'm happy that, you know, people go to these big conventions. And yes. that's great. Yes. If, if you can go, go. Go. But then you also got to consider the cost. Yes. Can I go to two smaller conventions mm -hmm. or should I go to one big convention? Yes. Or can I go to four smaller conventions yes. or should I go to one big You know, Because those big conventions cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They cost but money. You know, they take time. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's a lot. But a lot of publishers, I think, mm -hmm. are missing out going to the smaller ones because yeah. of, of the new people they can find. Mm -hmm. You know, new people they can kind of hunt out. people yeah. won't run to the big one first. No, they're they're the going to want to try to go. If they do, they, 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 ooh, <laughs> they, they ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they're trying yeah. to go to smaller conventions yeah. and then work and their way up. And try it out. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what we did. That's what we did. We, we started with small little local conventions. What is that? Alcon. Uh, Alcon. Alcon. At, at Rice University yes. in Houston. Yes. You know, small. But we got there. We got our feet wet. We yes. got into it. And we started to grow with it. And then we went to uh, Compalooza. You know, the big yes. Comic Con. Yes, in You know, Houston. in Houston, yeah. yeah. So we got, you know, we went yeah. there. That was pretty cool. Yeah, but, yeah. but the FOMO, just stop the FOMO. Stop the Again, FOMO. If, if you can't afford to go, it's okay. Yeah. It's, all, it's, cool. it's okay. Okay, I can't afford to go to Gen Con this year. That's okay. It's go right. somewhere else. Cool. Go somewhere you can drive to. A local, yeah. yeah somewhere you can drive to, yeah. Yeah, go somewhere you can yeah. drive. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you can't uh, go to Essen this year, that's okay. It's, right. it's okay. You know what? That's what the good thing about yeah. YouTube is. You, If you can't go, there are so other, many other people going, they're going to report on it, and you can live vicariously 
through their reports. Live vicariously. <laughs> but don't let the FOMO hit you on that either. Like, oh, I need to be there. I yeah. need to be there. No, don't do that, yeah. family. Don't Stop do that. Stop the FOMO. Don't do that. If you can go, yes. and it's go. not a hardship on you, go. go. Yeah. But if you can't go, do something else. Do something else. Yes. Don't get so stuck with like oh, I, I said, can't grow go. that local group. Grow yeah. that local group. Yeah, I, I yeah. can't go. I can't go to Gamma this year. I can't go to Gen Con this year. I need I to be can't. there. No, you But let's think about no, forget no. about what you can't do. Yeah. And think about what you can do. Yes. You know, turn, turn that on, negative to a positive. Turn on the positive. Turn on the positive. Turn on the positive. Yes. 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 But this year we're going to a lot of places. Yes, we are. Um, you can check it out on our website. Yes, we you can. try to list them yeah. so you can see where we're gonna be. And if you guys are in that area and have the time, we'd love for you to stop by, say yeah. hi, play some games with us, come check out that con or game. Now day. a new yeah. one is Rage Con. This year we are going to Rage Con in, in Reno, Reno, Nevada. Yes, we're gonna be a Reno yes. 911. That's what we're you gonna know, be. You know, I think every year we've added a new convention. We've yeah. always added something new. Something new. Yeah, Somewhere different. We're to also go. going to BGG Spring for the first time. Yeah, BGG Spring. Because we normally go to fall. Yes. So we're going to BGG Spring this yes. year. Yes. So we're going to be going to other places. And some of these conventions we're going to are around the same time as some of the other conventions. Yeah. So again, you got to make a choice. Gotta am a I going to go here or am I going to go there? No regrets. I, I, I can't go both. Don't have no regrets. I can't regrets. go to both. Yeah. I'm only one person. I yes. can't go to both. Yeah. So you got to make that choice of what's going to be most beneficial and give so whatever you, you're doing. Yeah. yeah. What's Beneficial, yeah, to, whatever beneficial you're doing. to whatever you're doing. What's going to yes. give you the most enjoyment? What's going to uh, better your business if you're work, working yes. with the business? Yes. Now, what's going to give you the best benefit? And if you can't make it to someplace someone else is at that you know or want to see, it's okay because you got to do you, boo. Got to do you, boo. You do oh, you I love boo. that. You got to do you, boo. <laughs> you do yeah. you, boo. <laughs> yes. That'll replace FOMO. <laughs> you do you, boo. You do you, boo. Yes. So that's our message today. Yes. Stop the FOMO. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. it. I'm trying, family. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to my own words. Stop yes. it. Stop it. Stop the Stop FOMO. It. Stop it. <laughs> yes. So that's yes. it. Do you feel better, sweetheart? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I don't know. A little bit. I'm getting there. <laughs> I get it because the games now, now co convention. Yeah, I'm good at the cons. I'm good at cons, yeah. but them games. Okay. Them games. So we may have a part two. Ooh, those games. We, we may have a part yes, two. Yes, I don't I'm going to hold out. I don't know if this therapy session I'm was good. Hold out. <laughs> it, 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 it makes me feel better. It I'm feeling feel better. better. Yes, I'm feeling better. All, All right, right. So next up, we're going to have. Oh, our, but I want to tell the OPG family. Tell us about your FOMO or what, we, what you do about FOMO and stuff like that. Let us know. Either games or cons. Let us know. Put it down below. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. All right. So next we're going to have our Ask OFPG video question. Yes. Here we go. I'm a CNA slash aspiring graphic designer in Omaha, Nebraska, and this is my Ask OFPG question. Hey Mick, Starla, I recently visited my parents down in Oklahoma, and my mom is in her late 70s and my dad is in his early 80s. They've always loved to play board games, but my dad um, has started to struggle cognitively. We found that he likes and can enjoy Five Crowns, so I'm curious what other games you or your viewers would recommend for those who have loved ones who struggle cognitively or have fine motor skill struggles or anything like that. Thanks. All right, Lynetta Lee, thank yes. you so much Lynetta. for that question. Now, y'all probably know <laughs> Lynetta. She's done a couple of our shirts. Yes, she has. Yes, our Make this world a better place yes. shirt. Yes, And then also our Kickstarter campaign shirt. The exclusive. Yes, yes. so if she's you, a local graphic yeah. designer here. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right, so I like a question. It's a good question. And we've talked mm -hmm. about this several times, mm -hmm. especially in my news, yes. you know, our board game news. Mm -hmm. We've talked about mm -hmm. all the research and stuff that has mm -hmm. gone into that. Right. Into, yes. Yeah. Into so, that. So helping people with cognitive, you know, issues, you know, you want to find games that's going to help them with, you know, vocabulary yes. and memory. Yes. And I know that when you look online, they'll say go to some of the 
classics, yes. you know, the Scrabbles yeah, and the Bingo and them. all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But if you're looking at modern board uh-huh. games, you know, you want to go ahead and find those that focus on words. Yes. You know, um, such and as many. Yeah, such as co- uh, Code Names. Code Names, that's a code classic. Code Names is a really good that's a classic. modern board game yes. that you can use with people who have these cognitive issues because they're yes. going to be focusing on words and how to find words. And I think that's a really good one. Um, another good one with memory is a brand new one that we talked about. Yes. Trio. Trio, we which is trio. memory and go fish at the same time. Yeah, so it's yeah. an easy card game. It's got a new twist on, like you said, go fish and that. Yes. But it, it works on memory. You got to remember where things are. Yeah, you got to remember. Right? And so yeah. I think that would be a good one that's easy yes. to learn. Yes, that's a good one. And then, of course, trio. you can never go wrong with cooperative games. Yes. Yes, that's coming from me. Yes. Cooperative games. Yes, cooperative <laughs> games. Yes. Because people with, you know, cognitive issues, they will work better with maybe having a team so they and can kind of help them, help them yeah. out a little bit so they yeah. can figure out how this game goes. And you can kind yeah. of moderate it mm-hmm. how you want to go. Like, yeah. you know, you can take a lot of the lead or you can try to just help them. Like, right. oh, do you remember what's going on here? You yeah. know, something like that. Yeah. So those are our suggestions. Yes. Again, thank you so much for that question. Love you, Lynetta. I love you so love much. You, love and you, thank love you, love you again. Yes. All right. So we can ready to wrap this all up. So what, what, you, what you got? You okay. got some more stuff, well, Starla? Well, if you haven't checked out our latest OFPG Voices yes. episode, yes. you need to do so. Yes. They covered, or should I say we covered, we covered. racing games. Yes, because we, we got in the, in the action. Nick got in on the action. We got some action, We yes. did a review of a racing game. Yes. Not going to tell you which you one. You got to go look. You got to go, go see. check it out. Yes. Yes, and we had some great contributors on that episode. Yes, yes. And then we also had a special guest for Good Humans, mm-hmm. and that's Anna Maria Phelps, and she brought a really wonderful message yes. for our Good Humans segment, and we really appreciate that. And we also want to thank Board and Dice for being such a wonderful sponsor of that program. Yes. And our next episode is coming out on March 20th. Yes. March 20th. March 20th. So be sure to check that out. Yes. Now, um, let's see. Where is OFPG going next? Where are we going? We will be at the Durham Museum. Yes. That's on March 30th. Yes. For their Saturn Play Series, which is part of their Toytopia exhibit. Yes. And we'll be there uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 Mm p.m. playing games. Playing games, y'all. Board games games galore. (laughs) That's the title. That is it. Board Board games games galore. galore. Yes. And we'll be joined by the board game wagon. Yes. Matt and his crew are going to bring out the library so people can come and check out games and play games and we're going to have wonderful teachers on site uh, Marcus yes. Ross is going to be there yes. uh, Tony Lawhorn uh, Susie and Jared DeRosa they're all going to be coming to yes. teach games so if you want to learn some new games come visit us at the Durham yes and and the board game wagon is courtesy of the op games yes so you'll see some <laughs> of the uh, the op is bringing some of the big games yes. right now uh, Aqua yeah. and uh, the, the Art, Art Project. Project. Yes. And they will be yes. taught. We have teachers there to teach you those games. So come on out and learn how to play some new games from the Aqua. Especially Aqua, because <laughs> we did a playthrough of Aqua. Yes, and that's we a did. Re- We did a playthrough oh, of both, both of them. them. <laughs> and they're really great games, but Aqua, that's one yeah. to watch out for. There, that's it's a, it's a fun out. game. Yes, yes. And I think that's all I have. That's all you got? That's it. All right, Starla, so where can they find OFBG out here? <laughs> where can they find? Oh, and also subscribe, y'all. Subscribe, let's do <laughs> Do it and like us now, but where can they find us, Starla? Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, uh-huh. Instagram, yep. Twitter, yep. right here on YouTube, right here, on our website, website, and TikTok. TikTok! TikTok! Yeah! Now, if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, that's so local, you can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Yes. And Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Family, thank you so much for coming out. Yes, thank you for coming and seeing us and hanging out with us while we talk about stop that FOMO. <laughs> Especially me. I need to stop that too, family. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. But family, there is one thing, one thing we want you to always know. We love y'all. Bye, Bye everybody. Now.